What if your education knew you, knew your strengths, your pace, your dreams? What if learning didn't just happen in classrooms, but anywhere, at any time, in ways that felt more like discovery than discipline? This isn't just wishful thinking, it is happening right now. Welcome to the future of education, where personalized learning and digital transformation are reshaping how we learn, grow and prepare for the world ahead. Let's take a closer look. For over a century, education looked more or less the same. Desks in rows, a teacher at the front, a single syllabus for all students, regardless of their abilities, learning styles or pace. This model worked during the industrial age when standardization was the goal. But today, that approach is becoming a barrier more than a bridge. Because today's students don't just want to memorize, they want to understand, they want learning that adapts to them, not the other way around. That is where personalized learning comes in. So what is it really? It is a way of learning that is tailor-made for you, your style, your speed, your needs. Some students are visual learners, others prefer hands-on practice, some move quickly through concepts, others need more time to process. Personalized learning powered by artificial intelligence doesn't treat everyone the same. It creates individual learning paths so that every student can thrive. Imagine an app that realizes you are struggling with algebra, so it switches to visual examples and slows down. Meanwhile, another student who is grasping things faster moves ahead to the next topic. That is not science fiction. It is already happening. Platforms like Khan Academy, Coursera, Duolingo and Dreambox are using adaptive learning to personalize the experience and the results speak for themselves. Now let's talk about the technology that is making this all possible. AI, machine learning and advanced analytics are at the heart of this revolution. AI doesn't just grade your paper, it analyzes how you learn and tailors content in real time. Machine learning systems track how students interact with lessons and adjust based on patterns. The more you learn, the smarter the system becomes. Then there is virtual and augmented reality. Imagine walking through the streets of ancient Rome, diving into the bloodstream or solving physics problems by literally stopping into a simulation. That is the power of immersive education. Gamification turns lessons into challenges and stories. Points, badges, leaderboards, it all keeps learners engaged and motivated, especially younger students. And cloud-based platforms make education global and mobile. You can learn from top professors in another country while sitting in your bedroom at 11 p.m. on a tablet. The impact of this transformation is already being felt around the world. In rural India, solar-powered tablets are giving children access to high-quality lessons without a school building. In Finland, teachers use real-time student data to adapt how they teach while they teach. In South Korea, AI tutors are being used alongside human instructors to provide laser-focused type prep based on each student's learning curve. These aren't pilots, they are success stories. Technology is not just closing the education gap, it is rewriting the rules. But don't worry, this isn't about replacing teachers. In fact, teachers are more important than ever. Technology is simply helping them shift roles from content providers to learning coaches, mentors and guides. With AI handling the routine stuff, teachers have more time to focus on critical thinking, creativity and emotional support. For parents, this transformation offers real-time insights. You no longer have to wait for a report card to understand your child's progress. You can track it live. Now, let's be honest, the road ahead isn't without its bumps. We still face the digital divide. Millions of students still don't have access to devices or the internet. Privacy concerns around student data are real and must be taken seriously. Many teachers need training and support to use these tools effectively. And with everything going digital, we have to be mindful of screen fatigue 
and protect students' mental and emotional well-being. But here's the thing, none of these challenges are permanent. They are solvable with the right mindset and collective effort. So what is next? By 2030, the classroom will look radically different. We will see virtual learning spaces that span the globe, AI tutors that speak your native language, even if your teacher doesn't, smart systems that adjust lessons based on how you feel that day. Blockchain will allow students to earn and share verifiable digital credentials for every skill they acquire. And the old model of school ends at 21 will be replaced by lifelong learning because the future isn't about memorizing, it is about evolving. Here's the takeaway. The future of education isn't just about technology, it is about empowerment. Empowering students to learn how they learn best, empowering teachers to connect more deeply, empowering parents to support meaningfully. This transformation isn't optional, it is already underway. And it is not about how smart you are, it is about how well your education helps you unlock your full potential. That is the real revolution. So if this vision excites you, give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment and tell us what is one digital tool that changed how you or your child learned. Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the future of learning, innovation and personal growth. Visit www.manishgoswami.com for more mind expanding content articles and exclusive downloads. You can also grab my latest book, Decoded, What She Wants, What She Shows and What She Will Never Say. Available now on my website in digital format and on Amazon in paperback. Join my email tribe for weekly wisdom bombs or write to me directly at info at manishgoswami.com. And don't forget to check out premium wellness products that fuel your brain and body. Available now at www.dapier.com. Thanks for listening. The future of education isn't coming. It is here and it is personal.